Just making sure that aircraft's coming in right. All right, here we go. And Edo traffic, Juliet Kilo Yankee on the roll, 3 1. I'm driving this thing like a car right now. I'm not doing anything with my hand. Daniel, go back in. He's going to make a right in turn and depart the circuit. So this is out. We're off the ground. Oh my god, that was so cool. <laughs> and now we're really climbing. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. I'm doing everything pretty much with my hand on this control stick. And you can see my movements on here are really small. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. It's it's like the um, images you see when it's like, from the view of um, a map or something. That's right. So what I'll do is I'll climb this plane to about 1,300 feet over the ground. Uh, generally, if we go up at that altitude, it tends to be a little bit smoother. You don't feel so much of these little bumps. And it's still low enough to the ground that you're going to recognize when you look down. But it's not too high that everything looks like okay, ants. Altitude. Um, yeah. <laughs> if we get too high, it, it kind of uh, to me, it kind of ruins the joy of flying because you don't recognize the things on the ground. Right. So right now, I'm just still climbing this plane up. Leaving altitude. Our computer's talking to us. Okay. So this is 1,300 feet over the ground. The confusing part for people is this gauge says 2,000 feet. Well, that means sea level. Oh. So, yeah, out at the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific, sea level is zero, right? So this gauge would read zero if we were taken off on the beach in Florida or something. But since we live in Ontario, the ground is already 700 feet above sea hey, level. Traffic, tango, at the airport. Is, uh, right. clear the zone to the south, climb so, to 3,000. For we started our flight. We started our flight at 700 already. Oh. Okay. So that's what confuses a lot of first-time people. They're like, "What the hell is he talking about?" I'm 1,300 feet over the ground when that says 2,000. Well, over the ground and sea level are two different things. This is so cool. So this rocking around is not bothering you. Not, not really. Good. The only thing it's really making me do is my ears popping a little bit. Okay. But well, that'll get better. Yeah, I, I kind of experienced that for the first time when I went to Jamaica. Yeah. So, so that was cool. So here's the question. We're going to go out to the beach here, and we're going to pick a direction to go. We can go that direction towards uh, Collingwood, or this direction towards Midland. You choose. I think we should go towards... Collingwood. Sure. So what we'll do is we'll get this plane out to where the water is. Generally, it tends to be a little smoother whenever you fly over water. And then I'm going to start showing you how to fly this thing. It's not that... Di it's, it's difficult, don't get me wrong, but it's not that difficult to do the stuff that I'm doing right now. Just flying this plane level... It's the takeoff that's hard, it's the landing that's hard, yeah. it's knowing all the laws, knowing how to speak on the radio. That's all the hard stuff of being a pilot. Yeah, but you're going to do that stuff, I'm right? going to do all that stuff. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> you're going to take the plane, and you're going to be able to, I guarantee it, is be able to fly this and turn the plane and go up if you want and down if you want. After I show you the basics of what to do, I'm sure you'll pick it up. Well, one can only hope. <laughs> you'll be fine. Oh, there's like a helicopter down there. Really? Oh, wow. Thank you for pointing him out, because I wouldn't have seen him, and that's, uh, I want to know where everybody's flying. 
Oh. You don't want to fly into it. Whiskey, whiskey, Oscar's in the right turn out. Uh, yeah, there's, it looks like a boat down there, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's helicopters and planes that are our enemy up in the sky. Other than that, uh, boats, no effect. <laughs> oh, well, what can they do? They're, they're down there. Over Fairlane Lake at 3,000. Uh, heading uh, westbound to the uh, shoreline and south. Golf out here at the second end. I'm going to make, I'm going to make an announcement to these other pilots that are flying around so they know where we are so they stay away from us. <laughs> and Collingwood area traffic. Sports star India Julia Kilo Yankee is three miles west of Wasega Beach, traveling the shore uh, shoreline in a westerly direction en route uh, to Blue Mountain at 2,200 feet. All right, so they know where we are. Collingwood area traffic. This is helicopter Gulf Bravo Fox Fox currently uh, just along with Sega Beach on an easterly heading at one point, at, sorry, at 900 feet. Um, we will be following the shoreline and there shouldn't be any conflict with your altitude being two. Okay. So let's show you how to do this. You're probably right-handed, correct? Correct. Okay, most of us are. The only problem is whenever we have to learn how to be a pilot, we all have to start flying with our left hand. The reason why is you need your right hand available to do all the other stuff. Midland like area traffic, Inca, Fox, Rob, turn the knobs on this, flip switches, uh, right if you have to. Before. So all pilots start learning with their left hand. So why don't you take your left hand and put it uh, on that control stick. Just the gently feel the stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start turning right, the plane. Don't the Charlie, it's on the left I just want you to feel what it does when the plane turns. I'm just keeping an eye. There's another pilot. I can see another plane up there in the horizon. You can, you can see him. You can see him. Yeah, we got to watch for him because if he comes at us, then we're going to play chicken, and I don't like that. <laughs> You know, it's not like a car where you can oh, scrape each other. You cannot touch another plane or you're going down. Yeah, that'd be a bad idea. <laughs> that'd be a bad idea and make for a bad day. All right, so we're flying the plane forward. Everything kind of feels good. You can tell we're moving. And keep your eyes forward. Eventually, I'll start telling you about the instruments, but if you keep your eyes forward, you're going to feel what's going on. If I move this control stick a little bit left, watch what happens. See that? Just a little nudge. You can feel the plane turning. Yeah. Come back right. That's it. A little bit more to the right. Carla traffic, Gulf Cedar from Charlie is on final runway 31. Backtracking traffic, get back to the taxi with please. And I know one of the hardest things to do is keep your eyes relatively forward. The reason why I say that is because if you follow the turn with your eye, you'll have a tendency to descend and start going back down to the ground. Right. But if you keep your eye forward, you'll see that the horizon is still in the same place whenever we're doing this turn. Like if I want to drop the nose, you'll see now we're descending. But see how that horizon is going way up here? Yeah. It's disappearing, so you can tell we're descending. Right. So if you notice, all the movements I'm doing on this control stick are very gentle. Yeah, there's no, like, big movements. It's Ex only exactly. very you, subtle. The only time you do, like, a crazy movement with the control stick is coming into land or take off if you're dealing with a lot of wind and turbulence. Other than that, for flying, it's just all this gentle stuff. Now, conversely, if I want to climb the aircraft... I'm just going to pull towards me just a little bit, like that. That's it. You can see how the nose came up. We lost the reference point to the horizon. We don't see the water anymore. And if I want to drop down, we just put the nose back towards the ground. And now we're descending. So the last thing I'll show you before I turn over control to you is what we use for a reference point. So this thing here is called an altimeter. I will set that little blue thing at where we are now. That tells us if we're climbing or descending. Okay. Maybe I'll put it one more higher. So I'm going to pull up. Watch what happens. I pull up. That needle will start climbing and touch the blue. Once we got to the blue, I put the nose down because we're still climbing. Now we stop the climb. Oh. Okay. So that's how we can tell if we're climbing or descending, especially when we're new at this. 
it gets quite confusing. Right. But I want you to enjoy the lesson, so try not to be too much in here. I want you to just look around and feel what you're doing with this control stick. I won't let you do anything that's dangerous. Right. So feel free to do whatever you want with the brain. If you want to do a left turn, go for it. If you want to do a right turn, go for it. My hand is right here. Take position, Weston, 3-1, depart landing top of the mountain, any conflicts, probably go for Calling the traffic, go see from Charlie is clear of the zone, we'll be taxiing the future, calling the traffic. Calling the traffic, uh, Bravo Tango Zulu is uh, two gentle miles motion. to That's the it. southeast and uh, correction southwest. We'll be going overhead to field 2,400. I'm just trying not to move it too much. Oh, you can't do anything that's going to get us into trouble. I won't let it happen. The plane's capable of doing dramatic things on it, but we're not going to get into that because then that will probably upset your stomach. Probably. <laughs> so right now what we're doing is we're climbing. Right. See how this needle's going up that way? That right. means we're climbing. So to come back down, you just go a little bit forward. That's it. Middle of traffic, all about there. Back uh, level at 3000 on the lake, sh or on the uh, shoreline. Um, just down into Eastvale, all about there. Back. Oh, that was foolish of me. I left my phone. I was going to take a picture for you of you flying it, and I would have emailed it to you. Shit. That's, that's okay. So you're finding it easier to use two hands on it? Oh, I'm just doing that to keep myself, not from letting go. Oh, that's okay. Oh, God. Oh, let me have the Rebel Galapagos close the circuit to the uh, west-northwest at... Uh 1300, and we'll be landing top of the mountain. We're gradually climbing. Now you can see Blue Mountain right over there. Calling with traffic, uh, Bravo Tango Zulu is just crossing the midfield now at 2,400 feet. We'll be losing altitude up one side, and we'll join a mid to left downwind for runway 30. Bravo Tango Zulu. Are you from the area here? I'm from Barrie, yeah. Okay. We could have flown in that direction, flew over your house, but we <laughs> forgot to bring a camera. <laughs> we do have the GoPro. That's true. <laughs> the only problem with the GoPro is, is the w lens is so wide, even if you were to shine it at the ground, it's, you're not going to get, um, tango, my it's such a far, it doesn't have a zoom lens, right? So. Right. That's okay though. So you got pretty good gentle control of the aircraft. Looks good. And the mic picture is rolling. So what we'll do is we'll make this a little more challenging. Okay. Let's take the plane and turn it around back to the other direction we came from. Uh, so essentially, take the plane and just start moving your hand to the right. That's it. And just keep that turn going, and eventually we're going to go back in the other direction. Now we're descending right now, so you just pull towards you a little bit. That's it. Oh wow, that's a nice steep turn. Woohoo! Yeah, you're gonna be a stunt pilot. Feel the G-forces in that turn? A little bit forward. There we go. There you go. Oh, you don't want to climb too much. Oh, 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 oh I got oh, it, I got it. Altitude. I just had to push it down. Okay. The, 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 the one number I'm always staring at is this. This is our airspeed. Okay. Uh, 17, if it goes below 60, mid -left for runway three zero. if it goes below the speed of 60, we're in a dangerous state of flight. That means the plane's not going to want to fly for much longer. So we always try to keep the plane above 60. Altitude. When we start pulling back, that speed drops. Oh. So that's why you probably felt me a few times push on the stick. Yeah. Because I was watching that needle come close to 60, and I was like, uh-oh, got to go, got to go faster. Yeah. If we push the stick fast forward causes the nose to go down, causing your speed to pick up. Oh, okay. You know, just like imagine you're on your bicycle, right? And you come to the top of a hill. When you're pedaling, right, it's hard to pedal up the hill. So we start slowing down. Once right. you get to the top of the hill and it becomes a hill and you're going down it, you don't need to pedal anymore. You just coast. Right. So that's the same thing we do in an aircraft. But the danger is when we climb that hill, we have to always go minimum of 60. 
Oh, okay. If, if we go Falling. slower than 60, Falling. it'll start Falling. falling. Left downwind, runway 30, uh, correction 31. A yeah, very nice control of this. Are you, are you sure you're not just helping me? <laughs> I'm not. Look, my hands are not even on it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. The only thing I've been doing is controlling this, which is our throttle or our gas pedal. Oh. Every once in a while, I add a little more power or take the power away. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. I saw the word throttle, but I was like, nah, that, that can't. Nah. It is. <laughs> This is so cool. Thank you so much. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Patty. <laughs> My pleasure. I do this every day. This is a beautiful area for it, too. Absolutely. The water and the grass, it's so pretty. Leaving altitude. Is, is that bad? Nope. That just means we're going further away from where I set that little reminder, but it oh. doesn't matter. We could be at any altitude we want. The only thing we're going to avoid is there's a little, there's an airport over here. You probably see it. That's Collingwood Airport. Mm -hmm. So we just got to avoid them. So where we are is fine, but we don't want to fly too close to them. Do they, do they get really mad if you do? <laughs> Well, it's just a dangerous situation because you have pilots flying in and out. And in order for me to go there, I would have to announce on the radio that we're coming. And we would have to follow a whole procedure to drop in, lower, fly over top, turn around, and land. Oh. Calling with traffic, Baron Golf Oscar Kilo Sierra is currently five miles to the east, 2,000 feet. We'll be crossing overhead to join the mid left downwind runway 31. So how about you take this and start pulling back, and let's climb this thing up to 2,500. But notice how the speed starts decreasing when you do that. See that speed altitude. slowing down? Right there? Mm -hmm. If it gets too slow, you just push forward a bit. But you're already at 2,500. So, so should I push down again? Yep. And Collinwood area traffic sports star India Juliet Kilo Yankee is directly north of the field, just over the shoreline. Uh, 2,500 feet en route to Edenvale Airport. Calling with traffic, Foxtrot Bravo Tango Zulu is rolling 31, taxiing to the main ramp. Uh, Bravo Tango Zulu, it's X-ray, X-ray Echo. We're just uh, going to backtrack. Are you okay if we enter the runway and uh, stay on the, um, on the north side? Sounds good. We'll uh, just exit here to the first taxiway. Awesome. Thanks a lot. X-ray, X-ray Echo is backtracking runway 31, Collingwood. This is so cool. <laughs> so just so the flight's not as boring, let's take a left and start following the shore that way. That's it. It's the gentle, perfect. Look at that turn. Nice. Very nice. Calling with traffic, Bravo Tango Zulu is clear all active runways. How was that? That was awesome. <laughs> the thing that makes a good turn when flying is to make a turn, of course, okay. smooth, okay. so you don't feel like you're stuck to the side of the plane, mm -hmm. and to try not to descend or climb during the turn. That's the hardest thing to master. Right. Because the steeper we make a turn, the plane automatically generally wants to fall down. It wants yeah. to go Calling back to Earth. Golf Oscar Kilo Sears overhead the field. One so the tighter you make that turn, the plane's just going to want to descend. So we have to compensate by pulling back at the same time. And you did that. 
in that turn you are compensating by automatically pulling back a little bit. Right up ahead of us, you could probably uh, recognize that's with Sega Beach, where you can see there's like a cluster of buildings. Yeah. And it doesn't look like there's anybody really swimming today. Probably not, no. Yeah, I think summer's gone. That's sad. It is. It wasn't really a great summer, though. No, I like to say what summer. We never had one. Right, uh, I was about uh, from the north side, I'd say 10 knots, 10, 12 knots. It is a bit bumpy, uh, especially when you get lower to the ground, though. No problem, anytime. So you're really getting the hang of this now, aren't you? I th I'd like to think so. I think so, because I'm, I'm doing less with the control stick. <laughs> I'm a passenger right now, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> altitude. Track, track, I'm on the roll, 3-1, calling with the target. Calling with the Unicom, this is Uniform, Bravo, Bravo. So let's take the plane and we're going to point it back in the direction of the airport. Now, turn right. That's right. I was just going to ask you, which way do you think it is? And you were right. Yeah. But, so I take it right now? Sure. You actually like really steep turns. Most new, new people don't like a turn this steep. You almost got it. Do you see the airport from here? Um, no. Right over there. Oh, so I was close. Very close. See it now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there it is. Yeah, right past that forest, you can see there's like an X. That's the two runways. Yeah. So I'm just going to make an announcement to them. And you develop traffic. Sports start. India Juliet Kilo Yankee is five miles north of the field, inbound for landing. Gonna cross overhead the field and join a mid left downwind three one. So what we're gonna do is descend this plane to one thousand seven hundred feet. And am, so, I, am I doing that? Yep. You're gonna need that needle to go right where that blue guy is there, but just gently do it because as you go down the hill, we start picking up speed really quick. That's it. So when you did that, I started taking my foot off the gas pedal or the throttle. Right. Because we don't need power to descend. So we're almost there now, so start pulling back. That's it, we're there. Yeah, you got there really quick. Back, clear 3-1. All right, now coming up here, it's exciting. So what I'll do is I'll take over from here, because it's going to get a little crazy. Okay. Um... So, do you want me to let go? You can keep your hand there, but just keep it gently on the stick. Okay. Just keep your one hand on there. That way we're not fighting each other. Okay. I got it now. So, I have control. That way you can feel what I'm doing. Approaching altitude. Yeah, I'd like to think that I did pretty good. You did awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So, right now what we call this is you ghosting the controls. You're just feeling what I'm doing. And this is also another way people are taught. That way you don't have to fly the dangerous maneuver yourself, but you can kind of feel what I'm going through at the same time. How I'm reacting to these winds pushing us. Right. And then in time, you know, when a person's training for this, there's no need for the ghosting anymore. You just fly the exercise yourself and deal with these bad conditions. Right. You'll probably notice the control stick movements are becoming a lot more than you were doing out there flying around. Yeah, they're like quicker and kind of yeah. more um, movement. Exactly. What I'm doing is I'm fighting all this turbulence. And 
and Eden Bell traffic. Julia Kilianke is overhead the field to join a mid left downwind. 3 1 full stop. So, what we have to do here, we're going to be landing on the runway that's going in this direction. So, we have to turn. Exactly. We enter what we call an imaginary highway in the sky called the circuit. Right. The circuit is this like a half a rectangle. So there's a highway imaginary that goes in this direction that runs parallel to the runway. Right. So we're going to turn left on that highway, fly that direction for a little bit, then we make another left and then another left. So then we can come back to the runway. Exactly. Okay. The reason why we do this pass, first of all, it's the law. And second of all, we get a chance to see if the runway's clear for us to land by doing that. Right. And Eden Bell traffic, Julia Kilo Yankees, uh, turning mid left downwind, 3 1. So we call this highway the downwind. Eden Bell traffic, it's India Lima, Foxtrot Kilo, turning left downwind for 3 1. Good day, Sean. How you doing? Very good, sir. So although we had a, a relatively smooth flight, generally this time of day as we come in to land, it might be a little uh, turbulent. Oh, rocky, yeah. yeah. So just be ready for it. Yeah, okay. It could really mess with your senses, right? Like you feel like we should be going straight, but it's not. We're going sideways, but that's, that's just normal. That's me fighting with the winds or the turbulence. Right. Andy Bell traffic, Julia Kilo Yankee, turning left base, 3 1. So, this is where I take this opportunity to slow the aircraft down, get us close to that 60 speed, because we don't want to fly anymore. Now, I'm actuating something underneath the wings called flaps. They help slow us down. Leaving altitude. There we go, flaps are on. So, now I'm just really controlling our descent. Bell traffic, Julia Kilo Yankee, turning final, 3 1. And then we're going to be going down the runway. That's right. India Lima, Fox Trek Kilo, turning left base for 3 1. So, like, whenever you watch a TV show or movies and then they ever talk about flying, they, all, they only ever refer to the part of the circuit called final. You always hear them, ah, I'm on final. So this is final approach here. Probably one of the most challenging things about learning how to fly is flying this part of the flight. Right. Because it's uh, it's like dancing with a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I liken it to. You yeah. want to do one thing, you want to move one way, and the wind doesn't want you to, so you're fighting it. And I'm fighting it with my hands, my feet, and my throttle up here. Oh yeah, she's turbulent. This is India Lima, Foxtrap Kilo, turning final for 3 1. Now, all I'm doing is just flying the plane down the runway. I'm trying not to let it land, and all of a sudden it's going to lose lift and then set us down. There you go. It set us down nice and gentle. That was so cool. Back to the ground, safe and sound. <laughs> And Edenville traffic, Julia Kilo Yankee down and clear 3 1 on Delta to the main ramp. Wow, that was so cool. You had a good time? Yeah, that was so much fun. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Such a cool experience. Yep. Very addictive. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could totally see myself wanting to do.